Question from men, uh, from Laura Layla, and uh, the question is, at what point in time, men, uh, does cleavage uh, shut your ears off? And uh, at what point in time is it acceptable to express uh, something, some sort of negativity or unpleasantness or uh, uh, to uh, cross some sort of a, a line of politeness based on breasts? Um, and it, I remember once uh, uh, going surfing, and uh, I heard a woman's voice off to my right, and she said, uh, how are the waves today? And I looked over at her, and uh, she was naked. And as I looked over at her, she kind of propped herself up on her surfboard uh, onto her elbows, and uh, the waves were flowing across her body, uh, just kind of caressing her body from, from head to toe. Uh, the sun was like bringing out this amazing bronze color in her skin and uh, every droplet of water that was left on her skin after the wave washed down her uh, was filled with light and was sparkling and uh, it reminded me of that uh, painting of Aphrodite coming in to the shore riding a clamshell and kind of holding her long flowing locks uh, across her nudity and uh, but I'd heard, I'd heard her question, and uh, I just turned and looked at her and was just blown away. My circuits flipped off. Uh, I'd never had anything hit me like that uh, with, with such power. And uh, I went to answer, and I said, uh, uh, it just came out as a noise. It was some sort of mental dial tone. And, uh, and it shocked me. Like, I wasn't expecting that sound to come out. I expected the sound to come out would be, uh, the waves are coming in sets of four, let's say. Um, and I tried to kind of master myself a little bit, and also then I was feeling confusion because uh, I just made a strange noise, and she kind of like turned her head sideways, and she said, how, how are the sets? What, what, what's, what, how are the waves been today? And I, I just kind of like shook myself again. I like, I, like I could hear her. Um, but it was such a shocking surprise, and it went to such a level of, uh, of deep response uh, that I needed a moment. Um, and then luckily, there was a surf right next to us, and he responded uh, uh, quite well. And uh, though she, uh, she interacted with me a few more times after that, because I think, I think she enjoyed that she had taken my brain off the hook for a moment. Um, that guy, it had to be funny. Uh, I laughed about it later after I got over the embarrassment. Um, and uh, Fred was talking about uh, how you, like, you're going down the street or opening a newspaper and you see a picture of uh, um, you know, a woman in a pro provocative pose um, selling uh, jeans. Um, and you see this giant billboard or whatever, you flip it open, and it happens so fast. You flip open the newspaper, here's this picture of this woman, and it doesn't go, you know, right to your mind of like, um, I don't think I want to buy guest jeans. What it does is just like, it just sticks its hands right down your pants. And it's not a person. It's an advertising company. And it makes you feel violated. Like, that's that's not cool to play with, uh, you know, our, our, our basic, drive, um, you know, to try to trigger some sort of like, you know, lower mental function uh, and to get money from you, sell you jeans. <coughs> oh, a little sick today. Um, and uh, okay, so and the second story I've told before actually was uh, a woman in Australia uh, diving into a water hole and uh, this guy there said, uh, how big are those breasts uh, as she was getting ready to dive? Um, and she dived in and left, and then I left and my friends left. Um, and I was like thinking, what did he have to gain from that? I mean, you look up, you're hanging out at a water hole, it's awesome, hanging out with your friends, swimming, the water's awesome, tropical jungle all around you. Then you look up and here comes this uh, Australian goddess, uh, topless, diving from the highest peak possible. Uh, so she's a daredevil too. Uh, what part about that wouldn't a guy like? And so why did he say that thing? He eventually, like most guys, would look up and think, you know, I thought this was a great water hole about four minutes ago, but it's now a great water hole. Because <laughs> of this 
beautiful naked woman has now shown up. And uh, I'm going to go ask her. I'm going to go tell her I've never uh, dived from a rock before. I'm going to ask her advice. And we're going to get along great. It'll be fun. Um, but this guy said something that seemed designed to repel this woman. Why did he say it? Um, and why his friends didn't seem to object? Um, here's my guess. Um, that was a display of confidence in several different ways, like the nudity, um, the, uh, the high dive, and that might be, you know, I mean, you might desire a beautiful naked body, um, but if that woman is displaying confidence like you can't display confidence, um, then you're going to resent her for having something um, that you don't have. Like, you know, I don't mean you, you, I mean uh, that guy. Um, somebody that doesn't have a lot of confidence. And so he actually, if so if that's true, if this woman made him feel less confident, then he actually did get what he wanted by saying, hey baby, how big them melons, you know, or something obnoxious. Um, she left, and then he didn't feel, you know, would it, however his uncomfortableness uh, went away, like his, his, his lack of, uh, of courage himself maybe. Uh, that she just kind of like, you know, highlighted for him, made him feel insecure. Um, so I think I think that's I think that's what the, where the negative comments come from. Um, and uh, actually, I uh, one of my uh, favorite uh, YouTubers, um, she does a lot of like cleavage and softcore uh, porn statements while she's building uh, bookshelves, or uh, she, she's the handy goddess. Uh, while she's building bookshelves or uh, baking a cake um, or something like that. She's just over the top. And I wrote her once saying, like, hey, what's, what's the deal with your style? Um, and she said, well, I've t I, I have taken everything in my life that I didn't feel confident about and turned it a totally around. And uh, so this is how I display my confidence. Um, you know, she's you know, knocking down walls in her house. Uh, she's throwing up uh, um, three-layer cakes and uh, doing over-the-top sexual innuendo and showing cleavage. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that, I mean, that must be what, uh, what Miss Hannah makes and the rest are doing as well. Though the flip side of that, um, in a way that, that made me unhappy, is I had a girlfriend once that uh, told me that she wanted to appear single at her workplace, uh, because if she she thought, if men thought she was available, they would tip her more. Uh, which I, I guess is kind of like what the YouTubers are doing, showing a lot of cleavage, gets extra views, extra views makes extra money. Um, but I, f I found that really unpleasant um, to, to be with somebody um, that wanted to manipulate people, wanted to stick uh, their hand down someone's pants mentally um, and manipulate them in a way that provided money. I didn't like that at all. So, yeah, there you have it. Uh, an answer from a man. All right, la la. And the rest of the tube tribe, I'll see you in the tubes.